Hello everyone and welcome to our Tech Tuesday Tutorials number 164. Today we share a handy app that lets you use your phone as a remote for Google Slides. We're back from summer break with a very quick, useful app called Remote for Slides. It's an app that lets you use your phone as a clicker for your presentation from anywhere in the world. You can even have multiple people control the presentation if you wish, allowing for group presentations and not needing everyone else to advance the slides for you. In the classroom, this lets you walk the room and advance your slides without needing a remote clicker, and it works with any computer including Chromebooks. To get started, you need two separate components, the Chrome extension and the mobile app. Head on over to limhenry.xyz slash slides. That's limhenry.xyz slash slides. I'll put the link in the description of this video and display it on the screen for you there. Once there, click on download Chrome extension and simply install it from the Chrome web store. You'll see a notification that's been added to Chrome up here, but that's not the only thing you have to do. Now you need it on your phone so that the two can talk. So to get it on your phone, if you're using Android, you just click on download Android app from the results page here, or again, from their main website, download Android app, and it'll take you to where you can get the app. If you're installing this from a computer, you should be able to tell it which device you want to install it onto, or you can go there on your phone itself and get it. Now, if you're using iOS, then you can simply go to remoteforslides.com. Once you're there, bookmark that on your iPhone, and you can also send it to your home screen. I'll put a link for iPhone users in the video description for those details. Okay, so once you've installed both, then open up a Google Slideshow, and if you already have one open, refresh it, and you should see a button that says Present with Remote. Again, if you don't see that, make sure you have the extension installed, and then refresh your page, and the button should pop up. Click on that and it'll start your presentation, but there's a nice little tooltip over here on the right and a little tab that you can click on to expand that. When you expand that, you'll see the option to start the remote when you're ready to start controlling it with your remote. So you click on that, you'll get a six digit code, and then I will open this up on my phone. Now I've got a little recording software that will allow me to record that, and I'll come over here and enter that into there. So let me tap that and I'll put in the six digit code 648595 and connect. It'll connect and you'll see that I'm operating free data analysis tools and I have a previous slide and next slide. Let's try that. I hit next slide. Sure enough. Next slide. So I can manage this entire presentation this way, but also notice that there's a little icon over here at the top right. It looks like a speech bubble with a line through it. If I tap that, then I get speaker notes that show up on my slide as well. So it's really helpful if you do have these little notes and things you want to say and you want them to show up on your phone and be able to navigate while you do that. So that's about it. Free, easy to install, two little things you install and from then on you can be anywhere in the world controlling your presentation that's being displayed. This can be, this presentation can be run on a kiosk, it can be run, you know, in a big room and you can be way in the back of the room. You don't have to worry about range. You don't have to worry about carrying around a USB clicker or anything else like that. You can control it even on Zoom calls or anything else from their home. As long as you're on the internet, you can control that presentation. One thing, don't forget to close this tab out whenever you are ready to start showing that. You don't want to show this code to anyone you're presenting to. And when you're completely done, if you feel a little paranoid, you can come in here and refresh the six digit code and generate a new one so that the old one doesn't work anymore. At any time, you can stop the remote or just close out your presentation to be done with that. All right, I hope you all enjoyed this video and I hope you found it useful. And if you did, go ahead and hit that like button. Why not support us and click that subscribe button. Click the bell icon to receive any email notifications. Leave a comment for an idea or a Tech Tuesday video below and share this video with your friends. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.